we're going to keep this one fast, dividing thirds, it's going to feel a lot like multiplying thirds. Here's our rule. So if you've got two thirds divided by each other, the numbers out the front here, C over D times all square root A over B. So let's just do some. So, so no numbers out the front this time, just root 21 over root 7. We can write that as... 21 over 7, so root 21 over 7. 21 divided by 7 is 3, so we get root 3. It's as simple as that. So, next one, 12 root 40 over 3 root 5. So, we're going to take these numbers and divide them by each other first. 12 divided by 3, and then we have this as a single square root. Square root, 40 divided by 5. Alright, 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then we have this single square root still, 40 divided by 5, which is 8. Actually, I didn't need to do it that big. Now, you should look and stop and think and say, wait a minute, root 8, that can be simplified. Uh, we get 4 root 4 times 2, and that 4 can come out. Our answer is 8 root 2. If we're following this rule, we can't really go too far wrong when it comes to dividing thirds. Now, sometimes you might want to divide thirds, but then realize actually that's not a good idea. And that's one of these cases here. So you might think to yourself, and this is going to be wrong. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it wrong. Wrong. This is wrong. Okay, uh, there's an invisible number 1 there. So I can say 1 over 2 times, and then I can put them all over a single square root, 32 over 25. But then I kind of get stuck, because I can't divide 32 by 25 evenly. I don't get any single number out of that. So where do I go to from here? So this is wrong. This is It's not mathematically wrong, but it's not going to send me in a good direction. But instead, I should have looked at it from the very beginning and said, wait a minute, root 32 and root 25. Root 25 is very special because it's just the number 5. So I can rewrite this as 2 times 5 on the bottom. And root 32 can be simplified as well. Um, it's uh, 16 times 2. So what do I get here? I get the 16 coming out the front for root 2 over 10. Okay, that's pretty good, but I can simplify just a little bit further. That 4 and that 10, we can simplify. We can divide them both by 2. So I get 2 root 2 over 5. All right, so sometimes it's a good idea to put them under a single square root, but if you can simplify them first, it's a much better idea to go that way. And of course, once you can do division, you can do questions that look a little bit like this. Here's a triangle. I don't know the perpendicular height. I know the base and I know the area. Let's find the height. Now we know that the area of a triangle is equal to base times height over 2. Now we know that the base is 6 root 3. We don't know what the height is, but we would really like to know it. And we can divide all of that by 2. We know the area is 27 root 15. So, now we can do two things here. Uh, the first thing we can do is just divide by... 2. So that's going to be 3 root 3 h, and this is going to be 27 root 15. And now to get h by itself, we need to divide by 3 root 3. So h is going to be equal to 27 root 15 over 3 root 3. Okay, now we want to simplify that, we want it to be as simple as possible. So we get 27 divided by 3 times root 15 over 3. Now 27 divided by 3 is 9, and 15 divided by 3 is 5. The height of our triangle is 9 root 5 centimetres. 9 root 5 centimetres. And of course you can check that if you take this, and this, and you put it back into this original formula, you would really hope that this number gets spat out the other side. That is dividing thirds.